What's up guys, this is Delane TV. Finally, 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 we get a Premier League clean sheet. Round of applause, boys. Superb. Actually, back-to-back -back clean sheets, as we got a clean sheet on Thursday against Lask. But yeah, Burnley nil, Tottenham won. A pretty, pretty average performance. Let's go for the lineup first. So obviously Hugo Lloris in goal. Um, clean sheet, didn't really have much to do, but we did have to do. He did well. Um, Dockersy, Dyer, Alderweireld and Ben Davis. Uh, two old midfield players, Zoko and Hoiberg. And then Son, Lucas, Ndon Bele. And you know who up front, Harry Kane. Um, first half, I thought was... It was fossil football, as people would say. It was boring. It was we didn't create much at all. Burnley defended well. You know, a lot of people have been saying to me, "Oh, yeah, you struggle to beat Burnley, this and that." But Burnley's a tough place to go because they've got a very tall side. They're very physical. They're very organised. They've got a good manager in Sean Dyche. They've got good players, well, not the best players, but they know what to do. Their instructions are very clear. You know, win set pieces, win your aerial duels, your one v one battles, and I think. To come away with three points and a clean sheet, I think that's a good result. Um, yeah, first half I thought was very, very average at best. Second half was much better. Um, Undon Bele for me was fantastic. The way he was wriggling through players. Um, human son of Harry Kane. I've said it and I'll say it again. In my opinion, the best partnership in Premier League history. The figures that these guys are doing is an absolute madness. You know, they're... I think eight goal contributions off of the top uh, partnership in Premier League history, which was Lampard and Drogba. Now, for me, I think this season they'll break it. And then they've got next season and the season after. I think they'll get in the 50s or 60s. But they're just absolute fucking ridiculous. They are mental, the figures they're doing. But yeah, my player ratings, Hugo Lloris had said eight. He didn't have to do much. Um, Doherty, I'm putting going to go six. Wasn't his best game, wasn't delivering many good crosses. Uh, Alderweireld, 9, I thought he was solid. Dyer, 8, he did have that one one off little blip where he kicked it. He tried to kick it over Barnes' head like it was fucking prime Maldini. And he said he looked like a fucking PE teacher. Luckily, he got given his handball and we got the free kick. Ben Davis, 7, I thought he was quite good, but created some chances, but didn't really do much. Suzoko, I'm going to say seven. I thought he was he was okay. Um, made a few good tackles. Actually, I'll probably give Suzoko an eight. Hoiberg, nine for me. Absolute beast. He really is an absolute beast. Like I've been saying for, for weeks and weeks and weeks, my signing of the window. Uh, Son, I'd give Son man of the match. Um, not just because of his goal, but... The way he chases down every single ball when he's doing run, he always makes the right runs. Like, as soon as Kane's got the ball, he's always looking for Son, no matter where he is. And, you know, Son, give, give Son a nine. Uh, and Dombele, nine as well. I thought he was fantastic. Uh, Lucas Mora, I'd give him an eight. Um, didn't do much, but he was making the right runs. Um, Kane, ten. Came out of the match for me. Got the assist, made a goal line clearance. He's just, he's just different class. He's the most complete striker in the world right now. Yeah, I know you can say, yeah, Lewandowski's numbers, this and that, but the man's got the most blocks for a striker in the league, the most goal line clearances for a striker in the league, the most assists in the Premier League, and he's fourth on the goal scoring chart. He's an absolute beast. He really is. Um, the subs that we brought on, I thought when we brought Lamella on, it changed the game completely. Um, I mean, he's just a Mourinho type of player, out and out, fucking shithousery, you know, makes a tackle, and then the guy's injured, and then he's drinking out of his water bottle, he's, you know, he's just an absolute, he's just a Mourinho type of player, he just doesn't give a shit, um, who else do we bring on, I thought we were going to bring on Vinicius, but he never come on, Rogelio and he could have come on, but didn't really want to change the game, I think both of them will play Thursday, as along with the likes of Gareth Bale, Bergwijn, um, Davinson Sanchez, potentially Roden or Tenganga. Roden come on in the last minutes. You know, it's no coincidence. Roden comes in on the kit with a clean sheet. But yeah, anyway, 1-0 um, win. We got the win. A clean sheet. Now, before I go, 
I keep getting asked this question all the time, every day, probably twice, two or three times a day. And it is, the question to me, do you think Tottenham can win the league? I don't necessarily think we're going to win the league. I'm not going to lie, but if there was a year we were going to win it, it would be this year. You've got to look at just some simple facts. City don't look good at all. They've got no goals in their side. They've only scored eight goals. Um, they're, they're looking flat up front. Arsenal haven't got a squad for it, I don't think. Uh, United, the same. They've got a PE teacher as a coach. I don't think they'll they'll um, they'll come top four. Liverpool have a big injury in Van Dijk. That's like, for us losing Kane, that's, that's massive. And they don't look very good as well. They're struggling to beat teams like Sheffield United. Um, and Chelsea, nah. So I think... If it was going to be a year, we would win it. I'm not going to get my hopes up. I'm hoping for a top four and a trophy. But you never know. Leicester won it at 5,000 to one odds. Bigger things have happened. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Round of applause to the boys for the clean sheet. And thank you very much for watching. I'll bring a video out tomorrow. Uh, match prediction for the Europa League Thursday game uh, against the Belgium side, Antwerp. But until next time, guys, take care.